in this Minecraft Attack on Titan video, I'm going to be riding the Armor Titan for 100 days. As the Armor Titan, I'll have to use my Titan powers to take down other Titan shifters and try and capture the Founding Titan before Eren can start the rumbling and destroy the world. Can I save the world? Well, subscribe to the channel right now for good luck. And as always, the custom Titan Shifter mods and map are available on my channel memberships, so go check them out. So now, let's get into this video. I spawned in in the middle of the war on day one, and Titans are being used in battle. As one of the nine Titan Shifters, I went to go talk with the General to get my next mission. Your mission is to steal the Founding Titan. In a hundred days, the Founding Titan will start the rumbling and destroy the world. So, go end this war and train. Now that I had my mission, I knew what I had to do. I went out in the middle of the field of battle and transformed into the Armor Titan. As the Armor Titan, I have armor all over my body protecting me. And I had a lot of hearts. So I knew I could do some damage. So I decided to test out my Titan powers, doing some super powerful punches and stomps. I couldn't maintain my Titan form for too long though. So I untransformed and ran back to watch Beartold transform. Beartold is the Colossal Titan, so his transformation did a lot of damage. It is super massive and powerful, towering over the whole battlefield. So, after we transformed and trained, we were all called to speak with the General one last time. And there was four of us here. The General started talking to us about our mission. And this is Annie. She holds the female Titan. Beartold, he holds the Colossal Titan. And there's me, Reiner. I hold the Armor Titan. And also Marcel. He has the Jawed Titan. So with all of us combined and our Titan powers, we were sent to the Island of Paradise to get the Founding Titan. And after a couple days on a boat ride, Annie was already excited to get started on the mission. So I decided to join her, and after a while, we finally made it. And that's when Marcel was super happy, but then a Titan spawned out of nowhere and came out of the ground. Marcel looked up, but he didn't have any time to transform. And by that point, the Titan had eaten him. I tried to run into help, but it was too late. And this new Titan had already transformed into the Jawed Titan. So I told Beartold and Annie to run away. Before knowing what I had to do, I had to take on this Jawed Titan, so I transformed. And in my Titan body, I had a lot of hearts. But I knew this battle would be fierce. The Jawed Titan started throwing things at me, and trying to bite at my armor. And since he's a Jawed Titan, he could get through it. So I had to be super careful during this battle. I kept using Stomp because he was a smaller Titan. I went for a Stomp that would have been a direct hit, but he launched me back before I can land it, which launched us into this video's sponsor. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. War Thunder is an awesome free multiplayer game that uses a range of military vehicles, aircrafts, and naval vessels to engage in some awesome battles. The new War Thunder update called Apex Predators adds new 4th generation aircraft with an iconic trio, the F-16, MIG-29, and the Tornado. These are some of the coolest jets you will see, so you don't want to miss out on using them in-game. Also released with the update are 40 new models of aircraft, ground vehicles, and naval vessels. You can join in on the fights with a brand new location, Gold Quarry, and the reworked winter-themed Poland map for ground battles. Not to mention there are new reworked soundtracks and voiceovers of commands for naval battles which will immerse you in the fights. Just listen to this. War Thunder has vehicles from many nations, like the USSR, USA, Germany, and many more for you to use in-game. There's also a wide variety of customization with the vehicles in the game. So, if you guys want to play War Thunder for free, you can click the link in the description and all new players and players who have not entered War Thunder for 6 months will receive half a million silver lions, a week of renting legendary German vehicles, 3 premium vehicles forever, XP boosters, a week of premium account, and other bonuses. So seriously, you guys don't want to miss out on this offer, so download War Thunder for free today with the link in the description. Now let's get back to the epic battle. So I charged back in to go for another stomp, and I got it off, but he bit some of the armor off of my leg. So I had taken some damage there. I came back in, trying to land more and more punches, trying to defeat this Titan. But he was relentless and super quick, so I had to use my speed to get around him. I'd been taking a lot of damage at this point, and I didn't know how much longer my armor would hold up, so I knew I had to finish this Titan battle soon. I kept trying to avoid the attacks, and avoid his fierce shot powers, until eventually he came back in and charged in landing a direct punch to the Titan. I defeated the Titan, but I had taken a lot of hearts, and I wanted to make sure Annie and Beartold were okay. So I untransformed and talked to Annie and told her we had to get out of there. Later that night, we were next to the campfire in our camp, 
and we were one step closer to enacting our mission. We all knew what we had to do, so I decided to go to bed. The next day, we got right in front of Shiganshina, and it was super big. Bertold knew what he had to do, and I knew also, so I ran back and retreated and let Bertold transform into the Colossal Titan. Bertold had transformed, and his explosion blew down the whole game, and the Colossal Titan was the size of the wall, and once the wall had been opened, Titans came flooding in. So it was time for me to do my part. I transformed and was ready to break down the second wall. So I began to charge. And I had broken it. But what I didn't know was, Bertold was about to get eaten by a regular Titan. But for some weird reason, the Titan left. So I decided to come outside and retreat. But that's when I noticed Bertold getting captured by someone. And I couldn't do anything to blow my cover. So I just had to sit there and watch. I made sure they couldn't see me, but I knew I had to rescue Bertold. But I had to leave to not blow my cover. The mission was super important, and I had lost Annie. I was assuming that she was doing the mission also. So I decided to get some wood, make myself a crafting table, and then with that crafting table, craft myself a wooden pickaxe and a wooden axe. And then once I'd gotten the basic tools, I dug down so that I could grab some cobblestone and make myself some stone tools. I needed to get right back to the mission, but these tools were important. So I crafted myself a set of stone tools and a furnace. Once I had gotten all those things, I needed a little place that I could hide out. So using the trees, I built myself a little shack that I could stay in. This would keep me away from most titans, and it was pretty big. I had my furnace in there, and my crafting table. But it was getting super late, so I decided to go to bed. The next day I woke up, and I noticed a titan. This thing could kill me, so I had to make a run for it. And this thing was super quick and chasing right after me. I had to escape it or I would die. So I knew what I had to do. I had to transform into the armor titan once again and blow the titan away. I knew that if I was going to complete this mission and get back bear told that I would have to be a lot stronger. So I decided to do some training. I trained my punches and my speed a little bit. And I was a little bit stronger now. I went back inside my house and decided to grab some wood so I could craft myself a crafting table and put the rest of my stuff in there before going out and going into the walls. I needed some food. So I eventually found a stable and inside was a bunch of bread. So I took the bread and ate it when I noticed that there was a big castle. So I decided to go in. Inside there was a lot of stuff and at the top of it it looked like there was a meeting going on with a bunch of people. And there was a lot of them. There were two people and the guy who had captured Bertold was there. So I decided to stay undercover and listen to what they had to say. They said that they were going to do training and that if we wanted to join the scouts that we would have to follow them and meet them at the training camp. So after getting that information, I decided to get an early start and join this training camp to see if I could get closer to Bertolt. That's when I noticed a couple people at the front. And I asked their name and this first guy was named Aaron Yeager and then there was Mikasa and Armin. I said I would meet them at the training camp because they looked nice and then eventually I finally got there. It was super late and Levi greeted me at the door. So I decided to go inside and check to see if I could find any clues. But there was really nothing besides some beds, so I decided to go to sleep. The next day I woke up and it was training time. I decided to look around and get an early start, and that's when I noticed Aaron, he was already training. He was trying to work on his ODM gear, but he wasn't balancing very well. So after talking to him, I decided to go on mine, and I basically nailed it first try. I was super good at this thing, and I was rewarded with a bunch of stuff like a gas tank and my own ODM gear. So after getting off, I was now confident in my ODM gear abilities. After I finished training, I noticed that Aaron was still struggling. So I decided to go inside and get some food. And inside the dining hall, there were a bunch of people. In there, there was Sasha. And I noticed that Annie was here too, so that felt good. I talked to Aaron about what his plans were and everything, and just tried to get to know him better. He told me that he wanted to kill all the Titans. And that his mother died to a Titan. Knowing that I caused that, I had to be wary around him. And later the next day, I noticed that there was another meeting. And a guy named Erwin was hosting it. He told everyone that there was an urgent mission in Shiganshina, and that these titans had to be cleared out. So, we had to get our ODM gear and leave. Since I was a bit better with my ODM gear, I decided to get another head start, and when I made it there, there were a ton of titans all throughout Shiganshina. So, I decided to jump down and take some out. This was the first titan, and it was super close to getting me, but I was able to dodge it with my ODM gear. Came back to get it one more time, and finish off the titan. So, I had to finish off the rest of them. There was another titan, so I came in and decided to get it, but I missed my first attack. And now it was chasing after me. I got on the rooftop to get away, but that wasn't going to keep me there for long. Then I finally went down using my ODM gear and getting the titan. And soon after that, I got another titan as well. 
there's still a lot more. So I had to go finish off the rest of the Titans. And there were a couple right here. So I finished them off. I went around to check to make sure that there were no Titans left. And there's this one giant Titan with a beard. I went to get it, but this thing was super strong. And I didn't want to die, so I retreated back to the top of the wall and decided to let the other scouts get it. And that's when I noticed Aaron and Armin on the wall. And this Titan was about to eat me. And that's when it got Aaron. Armin was petrified in fear, laying on the ground. That's when I heard him transforming. And I went over to go check the Titan. He hadn't transformed yet, but I knew something was going to happen. So I figured this might have been the Founding Titan. I went back and transformed myself. And we began to battle. Aaron was a Titan. And not just any Titan, the Attack Titan. So we were fighting in the middle of Shiganshina. I had to be careful, because Aaron was super powerful and super quick. So I had to make sure to finish this battle soon. We got on top of the roof and started using some powerful stomps. So I got on top of the roof as well to get a good vantage point. That's when I noticed I had lost a lot of hearts. And the Attack Titan did not look like he was going to give up anytime soon. So on the top of the roof, I was looking around for any plans to escape. And that's when I noticed Levi was standing on a rooftop. And I couldn't fight him right now, especially at my low health. So I decided to leave. I got on top of the wall and began going away. But before I could, I had to stop back in a house because I was low on resources. And I decided to just take a bed. So I took that bed and then left. I got back to my house and it was super dark. So I placed the bed and went to sleep. The next day, I was super hungry, so I went out looking for any animal that I could, getting some meat. I brought that back to my house, and used some of the wood that I had, and cooked all the meat. That's when I decided I would need to do some training. Aaron was super powerful, and if I was going to seize this founding titan and complete my mission, and rescue Beartold, I would have to be even stronger. So I trained my titan body, getting stronger and stronger over the course of a couple days. After I finished, I left my little shack, and then decided to go back into the training camp. And I got back there and they were having another meeting. And it looked like they had just finished training. And Annie had already knocked down Aaron. So that's when I decided to go listen to what Levi had to say. Levi told us that there was a super secret operation going to go on. And that we had have to get a good night's rest because we were going to leave on horseback the next morning. While I was going back to the lodging area, I noticed a lot of people at OEM gear on. So by the time I made it back, I decided to go inside and go to sleep. But that's when I heard some people talking. And I decided to get up and look who it was. And it was Levi and Irwin. They were talking about how this was a plan to capture another Titan Shifter, and a lure one out. I didn't fully know what they meant, so I decided to ignore it and go to sleep. The next day, I went out to the horse stable and I was super late, so there were only a couple horses left. I opened up a couple chests and in some barrels there were some smoke signals, and a name tag. So I picked my horse, and I picked the spotted one and rode it for a little bit and it was pretty quick. So I decided to go over to the anvil and with the name tag, name my horse Duke, which is the name of my second channel. So you guys should subscribe right now. After that, I went out on horseback with my smoke gun to go on the mission. And I came across a bunch of people, and it was Aaron and Armin. They were surrounded by titans and looked like they needed help. So I decided to take on the titans, just to get on their good side. So I left and started to take down the titans. I launched into the air with my ODM gear trying to get the first one, and I narrowly missed this nade. So I went back for another strike, and I missed it. And that's when more titans started coming after me. So I had to reload my blade. Eventually, I got on top of a tree where I was safe. And I jumped down, getting a couple of the titans in the process. Yeah, Let's go! And after that, I got the other one. So I decided to turn around when I noticed a titan. And it was the female titan, running after Aaron and Armin. And it took out both of their horses. So after that, they ran away. Luckily, I knew it was Annie. So when they were gone, I talked to him and told her that they almost spoiled our plan. So we had to be super careful. So I would light off a flare to say that you were gone. After I shot the red flare into the air, I decided to leave because me and Annie couldn't be seen together after that. So I said goodbye. I got back on my horse because it was still alive and Annie didn't take it out. And then I kept going. And I noticed that there was a campfire in the distance. And it was super late so I needed a place to stay and that's when I found Armin and Aaron. They seemed to be pretty fine. So after telling Aaron I hope you're okay, I went to bed. And the next day, the female titan started running. And Levi was running after her. And the attack titan was out. So I had to transform super quick and take him on again. Using all the new training that I had gotten, I knew I had to defeat the titan this time. Aaron had to be stopped. So I kept using my stomps and my super powerful punches. But Aaron had learned titan hardening. So he was doing a lot more damage to my armor. And I didn't know if it was going to break. 
so I had to finish off this battle relatively quick this time. Me and him kept going at it, and this battle was super intense. I was able to knock him back pretty far, but he kept coming in and in, and he was super aerodynamic, and that's when he transformed into the Berserk Attack Titan. I had to run back to make sure that I could still beat him, but I knew I could, so we continued fighting. My armor was getting super weak, so I didn't know how much longer I would last, and most of it was broken by now, so I had to finish off Eren super quickly if I was going to capture this Titan, and stay alive. Me and him kept fighting, going blow for blow, punch for punch, and this battle was crazy intense. This Berserk Attack Titan had a lot of attack power, and he was super strong. I don't know how Eren got this strong, but I had to take him down right now. But that's when Eren's Titan beat me, and I had to leave quickly with my ODM gear. But while I was leaving, I noticed that Annie was in her Titan Crystal, and Levi and Erwin were standing next to her, as well as Mikasa. So she was trapped. I couldn't pull my cover, so I had to ditch her, and I knew I had to become stronger to save her and Bertolt. So I did a lot of training. I'd gotten stronger, but not strong enough to return back to the base and avoid suspicion. So after collecting some wood and some resources, I crafted myself some iron armor. This iron armor was going to give me a little bit more protection, so I made a helmet and boots. After that, I decided to craft myself some better tools like an iron axe and an iron pickaxe. So I left the caves and knew I would need a new place to stay. So I got up in one of the taller trees and began building a new house. For this house, I just needed it to be tall enough to avoid the titans and keep me out of sight. I finished the house and it was looking good and I needed some wood and that's when I found almost dying. So I had to be a lot more careful. I used that wood to craft myself two chests and with the chests I was able to put all of my loot inside of them. Now my inventory was looking a lot better. So I healed up before I went back into Shiganshina to get some more supplies. I jumped down finding a bunch of meat inside this chest and this was going to be perfect. I decided to heal up a little bit before going back into the castle to see if I could find more loot. And that's when I noticed that there was another meeting going on. And Levi had already seen me, so to avoid suspicion, I had to get in line and listen to what he was saying. He told us he had another mission for us, and that we would all be stationed in groups outside the walls. So, after he finished talking, I finally got into my group. And in my group, we had Historia, Sasha, a girl named Amir, and Jean. After our group traveled, we were stationed at this massive castle. I was the first to go inside this castle area, and inside one of the barrels, I found a smoke signal. And there was basically nothing else inside the barrels. So after clearing out the rest of them, I decided to go up to the top of the castle and see what was going on, and it was super late. So after the rest of us made it up there, I decided to give Sasha some meat because she was super hungry. But after not too long, there was a lot of shaking, and something was happening. I had passed out, and by the time I had woken up, there were a ton of titans. They were going to take down the whole tower, and I was out of gas, so someone else would have to take these guys on. I looked over at Amir, and she said that she would take them on, and that's when she transformed into the Jaw Titan. She's the one that had eaten Marcel, so she used her Jaw Titan powers to take down the rest of the Titans. And while that was happening, the Beast Titan had appeared, and he was running away from the scene. He looked like he was looking for something, but he couldn't find it, so he ran away. Knowing that that was reinforcements, I had to get out of there. So I made my way to the capital to see what was happening with Bertol to see if I could maybe rescue him. I walked up sneaking around, seeing if I can listen in on the meeting, and they were talking about using Bertold as bait. So I knew what I had to do. I had to rescue him by any means, and that would mean blowing my cover. So I decided to go up to the top of the walls and pull my cover to the rest of everyone. And I made my way to the top of the wall where everyone was at. It was Historia, Jean, Aaron, Armin, Mikasa, and that's when I told Aaron that I was the armor titan. He was in shock. He couldn't move. But, I knew what I had to do. I had to capture the founder to complete my mission and save the world. So, I transformed into the armored titan once more, knowing I wouldn't lose this battle. But, Eren was super angry, and he transformed as well immediately into the berserk attack titan. So, we began to battle. I had to win this battle to rescue Bertold and complete my mission. So, we continued battling, and it was super intense when I knocked Eren down the wall. I jumped down immediately after to finish this battle and destroy the attack titan for good and bring him back to Marley and save the world. So we continued battling, going blow for blow, and this battle was super intense. I was losing a lot of parts and my armor was starting to break because of Eren's attacks, but I had to keep winning. I had to rescue Bertold, and that meant taking down Eren. So we continued battling, going punch for punch, and he was using his hardened fist and stomps until I laid the final blow, defeating the attack titan. When Eren had come out of his titan body, I looked down at him, 
before grabbing him and then running off. I had to take him back to Marley. It would be a couple day trip, so I set up a campground at the top of a tree and cut his arm so he wouldn't turn into a titan. So now I could go to bed. Next morning I woke up and there were tons of titans below us. So I transformed once again, grabbed Aaron and then started to run. After a while of running, everything started to shake. And I untransformed from my titan body, looking at Aaron. I think he was using his founding titan powers to summon titans on me. So I got in my ODM gear and decided to take him out, getting a couple. There was still a lot more titans where that came from though, and I didn't want to run out of gas. So I had to kill a lot of titans all with the same strike. And I was taking out titans from left, right, and center. There were so many titans, so I had to be quick. And I eventually got another titan right after that, so he's getting another titan. So I'd gotten a lot of titan kills. Eventually, it came down to the last titan, and he almost killed me with one attack. So I was able to finish him off, and then I had to go check back on Aaron. But he was gone. I decided to head for Shiganshina to maybe wake up with someone. So I decided to go to bed. And when I woke up, Zeke Jaeger was in front of me. So after getting the game plan from him, he told me to go hide within the walls and wait for the signal. So after getting a nice area within the walls, I used my pickaxe to dig one. And I waited for the signal. But little did I know, the scouts were right on our trail. So I waited, and that's when I saw a red smoke flare. So it was my time to go out of my hole and transform once again into the armored titan. I transformed and was ready to take on Aaron once more. But while this was happening, Zeke the Beast Titan was dealing with his own problem. Zeke had gotten injured, but me and Aaron's battle continued. He was still crazy strong though, and his combat ability had improved. But through all my training, mine had also. This is where we would capture the Founding Titan and return him to Marley and stop the rumbling to save the world. So I had to win, but I was getting super weak. And with one punch, Aaron had finished me off. I looked up at Aaron, knowing I was going to die. But then, the Cart Titan rescued Zeke and me. So we were able to get away. Luckily, both of us didn't die, but Levi had bear told and had a syringe. And Erwin and Armin were severely injured from the battle. And Aaron was trying to hold back Mikasa, but it was too late. Levi had already fed Berthold to Armin and turned him into the Colossal Titan. So I knew I had to get my revenge. I did some training and looked for Aaron for many days, knowing I had to stop the rumbling before the world would end. And after looking for a while, I had found Aaron and tried to talk things out. Aaron, no, you can't. You can't summon everything. You can't destroy the world. But Aaron wasn't listening. And I had noticed Zeke. Zeke was also there and started running towards Eren, so he transformed into the Founding Titan. I had to take on Eren here and now, take down his Founding Titan power to save the world. So we began the battle. I knew I couldn't last long versus his Founding Titan, but I still had to try. His Titan was absolutely massive and it was still growing, so I had to be quick. This thing was super strong and Eren was not giving up, but I was a lot quicker in my Titan form. So I used my quickness to my advantage and tried to get a couple more shots off. But every attack but every attack I did, I took way more damage than the Founding Titan was. And it didn't take too long for me to collapse. And the rumbling had started. I'm <laughs> If you guys want the mods that I use to become a Titan Shifter and the map that I use to record on, make sure to join the Commander tier of channel memberships. And I have a surprise announcement. On the 29th of April, I will be attending Minefest in Salt Lake City, Utah. 
This is an awesome Minecraft convention, and I'll be doing photo ops along with a bunch of other YouTubers and selling merch. So I hope to see you guys all there. If you live in the Salt Lake City area or in Utah, I put a link in the description for Minefest, so go buy some tickets.